Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to Sprocket. Today we're going to be designing a tank that was very heavily requested on two days ago's stream. So I streamed War Thunder for the first time and it went pretty well. Uh, thank you for those who showed up and, you know, uh, if you are interested in that, keep an eye. That might happen again in the future. I'm not too sure to be entirely honest, but during that stream... I was suggested a couple of sprocket builds, and specifically, somebody donated a certain amount of money while suggesting the ASU 57, and so uh, I jokingly said that I would do that as a bribe, uh, but you know what, I actually kind of wanted to do it, so, um, you know, I get to title the video, uh, somebody bribed me to make this tank, or something of the sort. Um, but yeah, I mean, this isn't going to be an exact ASU 57 replica. It's not going to even be similar to the ASU 57 in any way other than essentially I was going for a very light tank that could be somewhat realistically dropped in behind the lines and used as like a very small, very fuel efficient kind of assault vehicle. Um, not the kind of thing that you would put up against an enemy tank, just kind of something for light fortifications and anti-infantry kind of roles. Um, so it's kind of similar in a way to the Electo as well. Um, so you can kind of imagine it as being inspired by the ASU-57, the Electo, um, and just maybe even like the M22 Locust, um, just things like that that kind of are intended to not really serve on the front line so much as just get behind enemy lines and be a nuisance. Um, and I think that is kind of, that would, thinking about this tank in that guise makes it make more sense why I was recommended to make an ASU-57 and I made something that looks nothing like an ASU-57. I mean, for one, the engine is in the back. Uh, but also, I did this because Sprocket has a couple of limitations on open-topped vehicles because um, at the moment, basically, the way that the game works is you essentially pour everything into the tank, the engine, the gun, the crew, in as a liquid that just fills the volume of the tank, and so there needs to be internal space. And an open-top tank, that space that is open isn't considered as internal so i made a pretty big engine bay at the back which the asu doesn't have in order to basically just fit everything in the tank um and that way we can still kind of have a bit of a dip it's not deep enough into the tank for an actual crew to go in you'd imagine in real life they'd be standing on the floor or sitting on the floor um you know with the exception of like the transmission shaft but that shouldn't need to go anywhere because that should all be tucked away in the back but you know that aside, hopefully you like this little vehicle. Uh, and just before we finish up building this thing, because we are getting a little bit close, uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much for the support over the past six months, basically. Uh, since I lost my previous job, um, this has been my life, essentially. Uh, and now I'm starting a new chapter, um, and I'm starting my own job. YouTube isn't going anywhere. Um, I do plan on carrying this on, but uh, I just really want to show my appreciation for helping me get through that and helping me uh, float along financially for so long. Um, thank you so deeply from the bottom of my heart. But uh, anyway, goopy stuff aside, let's do the game. Okay, and here we have our tank, and apologies if this is a little bit unusual that we don't have a little bit of a sandbox rundown of the tank. Uh, to be honest, I did do one. Uh, oh, buddy. I, <laughs> I did do one. Um, however, yeah, um, the whole recording, my microphone decided to amplify the loud sections and uh, just make the quiet sections not come through at all. So uh, it was either deafeningly loud or uh, so quiet that you couldn't hear it. Um, I did just cartwheel. Uh, <laughs> goodness me. Um, okay, right, please let me describe what is going on before you do any kind of cartwheels. He's doing a stoppy. This is a pretty wild vehicle, okay? It, it's it got some characteristics that I feel like you're gonna pick up on fairly quickly. It's it's crazy, and I love it so much, uh, but I don't love that I just played the whole damn game with the thing and now I have to redo it all. Uh, <laughs> okay, I see something over there. It's a man of war. 
Oh, man of war. Please, look. There we go. Okay. There we go. We got through the mantler. That's that's the kind of kind of shot we need right now because this is only a 57 millimeter gun. It's a very small little gun, only about 100 mil of pen. Uh, <laughs> gravity decided that it didn't want to bring my tank back down to earth. And so unfortunately there we've bit the dust. <laughs> Hopefully, you're picking up on the theme by now. Okay, right, down, down, off the hill, off the hill. We can't be this high up or we will be absolutely massacred. Uh, over the railroad, a uh, little bit dangerous. Eee, there we go, we're fine. <laughs> it, yeah, um, I will level with you. This is not what I intended the tank to drive like, but unfortunately, because we can't remove the idler, to the best of my knowledge, and uh, also it's not suspended, yeah, it, it drives odd, that's for sure, and that one just killed its entire crew from hitting a rock. <laughs> Though, to be fair, I think that was more my driving than the tank. Okay, there's a lot of Heliots down on the road below here. I'm not entirely sure why they're all stacking up down there, but I know we can't go through the front of that thing. There is not a hope in hell that we're going to go through the front of a Heliot. Um, so we need the side, and that's going to be very difficult with most of my allies gone. Okay, the low ground is our friend. We have a very, very, very low profile, which means we can kind of sneak up and just kind of drop a little voice memo in the side of their turrets. Uh, please. That, that, I would really like if that would kill them. Oh my goodness me, come on. We really need this right now. We're, we're not doing well. Okay, there we go. One Heliot is down. There's another one. There we go. Two Heliots down. There's more where that came from, though literally more where that came from because there's one right there and oh it's seen me I've been seen by another one that's not good <laughs> we're really getting down to the slim pickings of uh, allies remaining here luckily they've all hit trees and they've not killed themselves <laughs> they've managed they've managed to hit the tree which stops them before the AI is able to do something so stupid it gets them killed However, this guy looks like he came very close. Oh, 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 I've done something stupid. I've done something stupid. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. No. Okay. We failed. We failed awfully, and I am embarrassed to admit it. The Heliot is just too difficult. It's it's too well armoured. We need something we can go through the front of. And a Chrom Tilder is definitely that. Oh, wow. Okay. I will take that if that's going to be the only enemy. Uh, it probably won't. There'll probably be Mana Wars as well. Oh, goodness me, guys. Come on. One at a time. <laughs> one at a time over the railroad. I know it's exciting, but come on. Like, oh, I can't even do it alone. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. <laughs> What an awful, awful, awful suspension. Okay, now we can get to the killing part. There's a Chrom Tilda down. We know where we can go through the Man of War. It's the Mantlet. Uh, and we've missed it. We were just a little low. Can we do it again? No, nothing there. What about the side of the hull? He's given me quite a lot of it. No. Uh, that was a, not a great spot on the side, though. Oh, the, the, it's, it's just not working. It's not working at all. He sees me, and now I've got to move, you know? Uh, I am not taking any chances in the firing arc of a Man of War. That thing fires quick, and it fires powerful shots. I don't know what caliber, but enough. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes! Oh, that's amazing. We got him. We got him. And now... Well, we might be able to get Crumb Tilders here if I just poke my head over and then just pop one in the side of his turret. Oh, and there's another one. 
Hello, would you also like to donate your tarot to the cause? Lovely. Uh, okay. Two left. I think there's that one there. And probably another Man of War. Um, but the, where the Man of War is, is anyone's guess, to be honest. Uh, it's just killed one of my allies, so in a dangerous location, that's for sure. Um, please, I need you to actually die when I shoot you. We don't have much in the way of <laughs> gun depression. Okay, there's the Man of War. Uh, I actually used the suspension there to my advantage. It rocked down so much that I actually managed to get enough gun depression to kill that Crumb Tilda. Uh, and now, somehow, we have to kill this Man of War. Uh, that's actually a pretty good shot there. Back of the turret, and it's gone behind a Crumb Tilda. Just come out the other side, would you? Oh, lovely. Well, what a polite guy. <laughs> That's much easier. Th those those are much friendlier tanks. The tiger. The tiger. Yeah, we we got to kill the tiger now. And um, yeah, this thing is it's going to struggle with it. We have a couple of things on our side though. We have very very low profile, which means we can hide behind all the little crannies and nooks. Um, and also, pretty decent mobility provided we don't hit our idler on the ground. Uh, I am currently the one in the firing arc. Ooh, think I'm out of the way now. Um, all we need to do is get behind him. And in order to do that, we just have to run across this here dangerous, dangerous, dangerous road. Oh, that's such good turret traverse. And he's got my engine. Okay, immediately swap to another one. Come on. I need you. I need you to turn right now. I need you. I, I need. I need the gun aimed at that tiger. Come on. Oh, come on. Please. Please. You have to do this for me. You have to do this for me. Please. Oh, my goodness me. I, I turn. Come on. Oh, he's he's killed him. It's 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 got it's all gone wrong. I couldn't maneuver. The suspension is so awful. I can't reverse. Oh my goodness me. This is such a disaster. Oh, we had the side of its turret for so long, so so long, and now oh oh it, it didn't do any damage. It didn't do any damage at all. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Oh, that's not going to be enough for the side of its turret to go through. What about over here? Is this low enough? He's going to see me for sure. Oh, he sees me all right. He sees me all right. Oh, goodness me. No, 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 no. No, no. Yes? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. This has worked. Um, surprisingly... We've actually 1v1, we're behind the tiger here, and if I can just get around him without flipping forwards, we are the best. We've seen that this little guy can punch above his weight, but how about punching his own weight? We're going to have a series of light tanks to go up against first, and I think they're going to be a huge problem, because I don't think the AI has use this gun once. I don't think it can. Um, I might be able to fix that, but at the same time, isn't it more fun if I have to do everything? No, no it isn't. No. <laughs> Okie dokie, seven light tanks. It's going to be really important that I'm already in a good position to fire when I see these light tanks, because they're going to be so quick that I can't... <laughs> If I stop and my suspension dips, I am going to not be able to hit. That's just not going to work. Okay, here they come. Over this hill. Further to the right. Halibar down. We've got a pretty long reload, all things considered, for a 57. But that is necessitated because I was trying to offset the weight of this thing so it didn't rock quite as much. Um, that, I think, helped. But, uh, yeah, that does mean... Oh, they do the same, don't they? <laughs> it's the battle of the tanks that rock when they break. Ah, look at you. You are... You're fighting your own kind, Halibars. <laughs> I forgot they did that as well. Okay, here we go. They're bouncing around just as much as we are. It's quite, it's quite a fun little battle, actually. Maybe we should make every single tank do this, and then we can have a whole war of just bouncy, fun little guys, you know? Okay, that's not going to work. Hmm. 
Uh, okay, they see me through my ally. I'm just gonna get out of here, and hopefully we can finish off the rest of these guys without too much trouble. Three of them. Three of them. That's the side of an al alive one's turret. There he goes. We got the two remaining guys over here. Let's take out him first. Please, please don't shoot me. Please. Oh yeah, he's gonna have to bounce if he wants to stop. We've done it. Okay, we're well in the open versus six heavy tanks. We need to move. We need to move really, really quickly and we need to get into that ravine as fast as possible. That's a lot of shots coming in. Let's just get into any low ground we can. The less guns that can shoot us, the better. If we can just find the map border, it should be here any... Okay, we're in the hole. We are in the ravine. <laughs> There's only three of us left. Um, we're gonna have to be very, very careful about how we take on these heavy tanks, but, uh, I think we can do it. First things first, what are we fighting? That's a good thing to determine. It's TOGS. Okay. Ooh, that's close. That's, that's not good. I, that doesn't make me, that doesn't fill me with confidence that I've already been hit by a TOG, to be honest. <laughs> And here we see the 636 lying in ambush of his greatest prey to date, the Great Tog, a slow and cumbersome beast. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Uh, stop the David Attenborough impression. This is, this is a disaster. Um, um hi. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, this isn't good at all. Oh, how are you alive? How are you alive, Tog? You can't be alive. You have to die. This is needed. This is needed for the content. Okay, he's gone. He's gone. His ally clearly sees me. He knows exactly where I am, but I am currently hidden behind him. Uh, okay, there we go. Take this one out. Oh my gosh, please, please, 57. I need you to be doing the work right now. We are in a very bad situation. This isn't the work. Oh, 57, you let me down! You let me down! Kill! You've killed so many things with one shot. Why now? Why now? I should have scoped in. I should have scoped in. I got complacent. I thought I'd be able to make the shot on the side of the tog, but I missed it. We've lost our defensive position. We've lost our allies. We've lost our intelligence. Oh, no. Things are looking bleak. Things are looking bleak for my chances right now. That's five remaining TOGs versus just two of my little tank destroyer. And I don't know what likelihood we have of winning this gunfight. Oh. Oh, never mind. Hang on. That's a good start. Okay, one TOG down. Can we do that for uh, more of them? Where we just find the very tip tippy tops of their turrets and just drop a shot in. Oh, we need more gun depression. Oh, come on. That one's still alive. I know it because I didn't manage to kill him. That one with his gun facing really far down isn't. Okay, there we go. He's gone. Where have the other three got to? It's a tog. How have I lost them? I didn't think it was possible to lose a tog. But I've lost three. There they are. They're all huddled. <laughs> They're all huddled in the little ravine. This isn't actually great, to be honest, because oh, when they're so close, opening up fire on one of them probably opens me up to all three of them. However, that guy was none the wiser to my presence. And it looks like this guy isn't either. Oh my goodness me, this is going astoundingly well. What kind of thickness is that? Oh my gosh, we went we, we went through? That's not what I expected. Um, how many of those is it going to take to kill the Tog? Okay, that one didn't go through. I just, what about that little plate? There. <gasps> oh, I, it worked. It, it worked. Oh my goodness me. I am so uh, beyond myself with excitement. We've done it. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Against all odds. Against all odds. The little 626 that could. It may not be able to reverse. 
It may not be able to drive over rough terrain without flipping onto its back. It may not be able to come to a stop without doing a 45 degree nosedive into the ground. It may not have the biggest gun. It may not have the most penetration. And it may not even be that fast, all things considered. But it's got a soul, and that's all that counts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a beautiful tank. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. And I hope to see you in the future. Goodbye. And as always, a huge thank you to this channel's patrons. Badger, Caligo, Drake, Camjam135, Cody N, DJ Pete, Gavoon, Gomasa929, Zed Cat, Jasper Boar, Yoki003, Just Casual T6, Sharon One, Last Legend Eleven, Mark, Mildly Invested, Nicholas K, Rollstars Bucken, Ryan Brody, The Kinesian Emperor, Zerashime, and Zite Wolverine. Thank you so much for your support.